Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 72, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We've been uh, working on the side quests that, uh, that come as part of the bonus content to the Steam release. This bonus content is also in the mobile version that you can buy in the App Store for your Android or iPhone, and probably iPad too. Not iPad 2 as in just the second iPad, but iPad 2 as in the iPad as well. Yeah. Sorry. A little tired. It's getting to me. And uh, it's also in the Nintendo DS version of the game as well. The mobile, I think the mobile, and I know the DS also have two other bonus areas, but the Steam version does not. So, um... We're, gonna, we're only going through the one bonus part that is common to all the games. And if you remember, we've been hiking up and down the mountain, finding Prisma Stones back and forth. And we just went up the mountain to put the Saint Stone there to gather solar energy, which should sound slightly familiar, like a quest we've already done before. And I guess that's why we can't use the Sun Cave, because our own Sunstone is there. Although I find it interesting that we got the Sunstone and the Saint Stone in the game. I mean, if we needed this kind of power, maybe we could just borrow the Sunstone real quick and, you know, no one would notice. Okay, maybe we would notice. Alright, and... We're now millions and millions of years into the future. Guess what? <laughs> you gotta go back up that mountain. Get your hiking boots on. It's up the mountain we go again. I kind of wish they, they had found a way. Oh, that's not the way up the mountain either. That's the way I wish it was up the mountain. That's the way to the forest. And I am not king of the forest because I cannot roll my R's like that. All right, let's, uh... Yeah, I probably should have done that with uh, one of the other guys, too, because I forgot that I'd, <laughs> I'd rest it up to heal up and, and get all that, and now Jeff is going to come comfort me for all the stress and frustration. Kind of wish I could just give him a, a doggy-sized remote and get him to walk up it. I wonder if he could do that. Train a dog to move your character for you. Ooh, maybe if you put a uh, treat on a special Bluetooth uh, device, you could probably get them to auto farm your stuff in Minecraft. You want to learn about that, Jeva? Like if I gave you something that you could lick every now and again, you know that that would activate the uh, the the kill switch on the farm. That would be kind of funny. <laughs> I'm sure somebody would have something to say about it, and it wouldn't be nice, but that would be kind of funny. Yeah, I'm sure somebody's already done it. If you can think of it, somebody's already done it. That reminds me, Robo's been getting levels too, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and slot somebody else in. As much as I like having a healer about, I haven't really needed much in the way of healing, so let's throw Luca in. For no good reason other than to throw her in the party. Although there is a point in a little bit that uh, I will want somebody, not Luca, because you get a team of elemental enemies where one is immune to fire and absorbs it and lives off it, and the other is immune to ice and lives off it and thrives off it, and I need people who don't <laughs> dish out fire or ice because you can nuke them with all the other goodies. You know, I wonder. Right, all the other magic. Are these guys, uh, susceptible to fire? And maybe I just never noticed? Is it all magic or just, uh, certain kinds? Because I remember lightning hasn't been working. Shadow hasn't been working. I forgot to try water while I had frog. 
Or if I did, I don't remember what the results were. And, yeah, no. Fire doesn't do anything either. Oh, bother. And all their dual techs are fire based. So there's fire sword and fire sword 2 and something else that it doesn't really matter much about. Ooh. We need to we need to get you a better gun there. That measly little 260 ain't gonna, you know, do much. Although I like that it casts confuse. That is always helpful. Alright, and so now come up here and we can pick up the stone shines with an inner light. Obtained the waystone. <laughs> Since we're here and we've done some other stuff. Let's see. Anything on the bridge? The bridge is almost finished now. Thanks to all his help, you should check back from time to time and watch how things are coming along. I'm not watching anything. I I'm looking at your back and hearing a hammer in the distance. How about a bridge? And how did one ingot of iron get that much metal? Did you see the chains on that bridge? Like, I either found the mother of all ingots or uh, we're, we're not, we're using different definitions for the same word. That's all I'm saying. Alright, let's get these attacks out of the way. I probably should use Chrono's uh, physical attacks. That might soften them up a little bit quicker. Although Wind Slash did nothing, Cyclone's probably not going to do enough, and the rest of them, I'm not sure it's worth wasting the magic to, to do that, especially if he's going to crit that often anyway. There we go. Hit him for a little bit more. There we go. Alright, that went a little quicker. That worked out okay. Sometimes it works out alright. The money worked out alright. Money always works out alright. Alright, um... Yeah, there we go. I think I'm almost at the point that I could walk this mountain path in my sleep. Like, if we didn't have any battles, I just might be able to get my way up and down the mountain without really, you know, paying attention or thinking about it. And you're going to cause a fight, because of course you do. And let's spread the magic point usage around a little bit. There we go. Boom. Done. <laughs> of course, now after listening to a recent, um, I think it was Art of Mad Manliness podcast, where uh, they, they were doing some new research into the psychological effect of a hot hand. Um, not ha hand as in a medical condition you should talk to a doctor about, but hot hand as in like when you're playing basketball or uh, some sport and you're having a really good streak. And for those of you who, for whom NBA Jam was a formative part of your youth, you remember the hot ham. He's warming up. He's on fire. Boom shakalaka. That, and that's where the that that's how this started because you know, the boom reminded me of that. Sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll get back to taking out these rats and uh, making our way back. Because now we got to go back to the village. We got to go back to prehistory. All right. And then we can do the, the last little bit of this questicle. All right. Uh, da -da -da -da. Would you like to leave? Yes. Yes, I would.
and hit the right button and go back to prehistory. And back to the Lost Sanctum. Actually, this is where I want to go. I like Luca, but I need somebody that has abilities that are not fire or water, which is most of those guys. I mean, I could always pull Robo in. That's an option too. But, uh... If I find out they're immune to magic, having Ayla around would be nice as well. Though, I can't... No, they're probably going to have her talk, and that gets me at this point. So let's go swap her over back in. There we go. And, oh, no, no, I probably got to talk to somebody first. Uh, go back... Yeah, talk to the Raptite in the south... Eastern corner. Something, yada yada, dark something. That's right, this guy. Oh, that stone, it shines like the sun. With that, you should be able to find your way even in the deepest darkness. Won't you go and see what lies within that darkened cave beyond the great southern swamp? Agree to explore the cave? Yes. Wonderful, but please be careful. Foul things lurk in dark places. Only the shadow knows. Oh, wait, no. Wrong property. <laughs> Where could you have found such a stone? You really are mysterious apes, aren't you? Well, you do the same fetch quest back and forth a few times. Oh, wait, no, no, no. You don't have the time machine. All right, so that creepy cave that we walked in in the future, we now have... Well, future relative to here. We now need to walk in the past. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. These guys... Not having the, uh... Alright. Um... Nope. Come on, Cyclone Sweep. Oh, he's confused, isn't he? You know what? I'm not playing. Let's just do the attacks. Even though it's going to take a while. Okay, maybe not that long. Okay. Yeah, I futzed around with menus a little bit longer than I should have. Next, note to self, have a better plan of attack when planning the attack. Alright, where is the cave entrance? Is it here? No. It is here. I don't know, this looks pretty well lit for a cave that I was told needed lighting. Hello, bet. Are we in your belfry? Yeah, keep trying that. Ain't gonna work. That's what I thought. All right. And where was that path? There it was. And that gets us a shelter. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, where was it? It's around here somewhere. There we go. A Reptite Tiara. A Reptite Tiara? Oh, that's probably only usable by one of these people. Oh, never mind. Uh, one less, uh, okay. It's only one less defense, so it's not as bad as I thought. But magic defense plus five, or sorry, no, magic plus five. Or prevent all status ailments. 
I think we're going to go with prevent all status ailments. That is a little bit nicer. Ooh, do we go through there or through here? No, through here was that guy. Another mega elixir. Always nice. Uh, I guess we can't get by you. So let's go onward with the battle. And see what that gets us first. So I don't, I don't think that's going to kill both of them. I, I want to say the purple guy is immune. No, the purple guy is not immune. Nice. Okay. Always worth finding that out. Look. Tained smoked meat. Um. Huh. I don't remember seeing that in the quest log. Well, okay. Should I have been electrocuting him more? <laughs> incredible. Come, let us press onward. That is incredible. Those were the ruined stairs that we couldn't get to in the future. All right. Let's go ahead and let's do a save real quick. To the end of the ford. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have uh, some fighting to do. Someone comes. I hear there are reptites living nearby. Finally, some good prey. Oh, I can't wait to sink my teeth into them. <laughs> Don't be so hasty. We gotta wait for the boss, then it's feeding time. Yeah, okay, guys. Hey, who's hiding down there? Yeah. Let's do this. That was actually marginally disappointing. Okay. I don't think the XP in gold is nice. This is an emergency. We must inform the villagers. What? The cave is full of monsters? And they're planning to attack the village? Oh no, we have to call everyone together. This is grave news indeed. We cannot stand against that horde. Everyone, prepare to flee for your lives. You had best return to your own village too. Guys, seriously. We shall stop the monsters. You, you do that? I certainly cannot protest, but to speak frankly, you stand to gain nothing by helping us, you know? Yeah, I'm acutely aware. I keep helping you guys and you're not giving me money. They far greater numbers this time, and strong as you may be, surely there's no need for you to risk your lives. This is not even your village. You've risked a great deal on our behalf already. Well, not that much, but okay. And we're grateful for it. But that is enough. You needn't fight all our battles for us. Apparently I do. We are friends, are we not? It is quite normal to fight on behalf of one's friends. Truly? You consider us friends? Oh, business acquaintances, but you know, uh, that's close enough. Well, you'll hear no more protests from me. Our lives are in your hands. So long as your money is in my hands too. Please, take this. It might be of some help. Tain Judgment Scythe. Well, since Magus is the only one that carries those jokers, that's probably his next best weapon, maybe? We'll stay in the village and do what we can to help. The rest is up to you. As it always was. Alright, let's go. Equipment. 
Magus. All right. So this is 160 attack, and the attack power grows when allies are KO'd. Oh, that's five less attack than it may inflict stop. I, I was... Okay. I was hoping for an upgrade, but sure. Sure, it's okay. All right, uh, here you go. Da, 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 meeting. Go back to the fort. Okay, back to the fort we go. Hi, guys. Guess what we're doing again. Now I'm kind of stuck. We're at the 20 minute mark for the episode. Looking at the quest outline, we should be very near the end. Like if I push just a little bit more, we should be near the end. Oh! Oh, hi! They've come this far already. They move quickly. Yeah, not for long. Alright, let's uh, throw that. Let's throw that. And let's see if that doesn't mop up the rest. Watch, the big golden guy is going to be immune to it, isn't he? Nope. He's got more hit points than we realize. I wonder if he would have been worth charming something too oh oh my oh that just undid all the stuff I did that sucks all right no more lightning fine all right I got other stuff I can do. Alright, so the big golden thingies are uh, no lightning. Gone. Done. XP and gold. There's no end in sight. We must neutralize their leader within the castle. Uh, I don't know about no end in sight, but okay. All right, so let's lead off with the dark matter, and then the frenzy, and the rapid fire fist, and that should be all we need. Ooh, and I need to do a quick healing session. Robo's actually at like half health. To think, I'm now at the point where five five hundred ninety three health seems. Oh, that seems a little low. Like I don't do something about that. Funny the way that changes. Alright, and that got almost everybody. And that finished the rest. Sweet. Did the boxes get refilled? No, the boxes didn't get refilled. I guess that would be asking too much. Hi. We're going to do this again. Just so you know. Oh yeah, yeah, call in the other guys. I'm sure that'll help. All right. I don't know why I'm worried those bats aren't going to survive, and then you'll target the next person automatically, so... Eh. This will be over pretty quick. Doom, doom, doom. Done. Thousand gold. Level up. Always nice. and save her progress just in case I misjudge the difficulty of the next encounter because I know the 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 
whatever it is that you run into at the end have about 8,000 hit points. Um, actually, you know what? Not like I don't have a blue million of them. Let's go ahead and uh, top everybody's everything off. Anything in here? 20,000 gold? Yes, please. And another 20,000 gold. I probably should have just used a Mega Elixir then. I could have bought a few more with that. And an Athenian water. And a shelter. Oh good, we made our shelter back. Oh, and here I was worried that it was about to be an empty uh, castle. Oh, hi guys. Alrighty then. I hear you yelling. Are you trying to bring somebody else or... Uh, oh. There we go. Because these guys are too far apart to use the multi-people tech. Well, I guess I probably could have done the laser spin thing because that is technically shadow damage. And since that seems to be doing very nicely against them, that would uh, that would have been worth doing. Hindsight. 2020. There we go. Some XP, some gold. There's probably a little basement with something here. A little something, something. Yeah. And we got a horn. We got a... F oh. Seriously? Oh. A turbo shot. That sounds like something for Luca. Yes. So the shockwave does 110 and may inflict confused. The wonder shot is nice. It does a lot of damage. It does it has a high attack, but your playtime determines damage. So what it's whatever the the last digit is. So it's way too random for my likes. But um an attack of 140 is certainly nice and that speed 3 certainly helps too. Cuz she a little slow. I'm saying. And a feather and a petal, because I really tried to empty my inventory of all that stuff. Hi, guys. Alright, you ready to do this? Let's do this. Ooh. How did Robo get the worst of that? Is it because they focused him or... And we just got the ancillary damage? Has he got some... Or did I equip him with something different that makes him a little more vulnerable to fire? Or less invulnerable? Alright. Either way. That was quick. Oh. That's probably where we just came from a minute ago, isn't it? Hi guys. We get to do this again, apparently. Yeah, this is probably the same floor. I wasn't paying attention if we were going up and down and whatnot. Alright, you know what? So let's do that and see if that doesn't uh, kill them both a little bit quicker. We'll hit him with the dark matter. There we go. Okay, that worked. Nice. Yep. And that is back down there. That brings us back to here. Um... No, that was the hallway we just did. Doggone it. Uh, short term memory, something or other. Can't remember what it's called. Hmm. I gotta remember to heal Robo again. He seems to be taking the worst of all this. Yeah, it's gotta be a helmet or armor or something that I've got on him. That's just different enough from the other guys that, uh, 
makes him a little more susceptible to uh, fire damage. The fire damage that these guys are dishing out. Wait. That'll top everybody else off, and there we go. All right, up we need to go. Up this way. Or is this going to be another one of those? Yeah, that looks like it doesn't matter which way we went up. Oh, so that is nice there. All right, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's clear the one on the right first. Because left is death. Left is kitchen. Sorry, it's an inside joke for a couple of friends. Hello, batty boys. Oh, no, I was going to say, let's just uh, do the regular attack, spare the magic points, but you guys decided to bring friends. They are not long for this map. That's right, that too is not going to be long for this map. There we go. XP and gold and levels, oh my. 10 gold? Seriously? I just got somebody's pocket change? Do I look like a 10 gold character anymore? No. Ooh, a potion. And a panacea. Yeah, it looks like the middle door is going to be the one that actually... Uh, Gets us the main boss. So we'll do that last. Now it's time to go to the kitchen. Or at least to go left. Hi. How many friends are you bringing with you? Not enough. Kind of wish there was a way to speed up the animations on this too. I mean, I like looking at the tech animations and all that, but... Uh, at a certain point, you just kind of want to, like, you know, go, yep, I cast it. They fall down. Ooh. They fell down with some money in their pockets, too. Mega elixir. Ooh. Dragon armor, you say? So, right now, I got the moonbeam armor. Defense of 85, magic defense of 10. And that is a defense of 83 and a strength plus 10. I mean, I don't have 10 strength to f spare, but 83. Wait a second. Yeah, okay, so I'm dropping... I'm dropping my defense to add to my strength, which also adds to the attack. Um... Okay. Hmm. 84, 83. Why didn't I put that on her before? Okay, there we go. That should have everybody roundabout at the best they got. I do like that uh, for all the trouble this is, for all the back and forth, for all the hassle, you, you at least get some really nice items out of it. And now we should be able to finish it off, especially since we're almost at a double episode's length. Sorry about that. I thought this was going to go a little bit quicker. This sure is a big room. Uh oh, save point time. I hope those two rooms wrap back around to the same place. All right, let's go ahead and use another shelter to gather everybody back to you fighting strength. Let's go ahead and save just in case this goes sideways. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this wraps around to the same location, whichever 
Whichever side you go. Or maybe not. Or maybe yes. But it looks like we're not quite done yet. Doggone. One of these will get him. Eh, that didn't do as much as I'd hoped. Come on, what's your weakness? None of those? How about this one? Nope. None of them. What about physical attacks? Are you weaker to physical attacks? Mm, not by much. Unless you crit. Yay! Maybe it is the same whichever way you go. Oh my. I, I want the XP. I want the money. But I'm trying to be mindful of time. Goodness me. Well, okay then. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't get a black hole to get some of these guys off the field of battle. I don't know if that's going to be worth it or not now that I think about it. Alright, I got a couple of them out of the way. That should take care of the two bats. And I probably should add a robo instead of doing the laser spin, do uh, rapid fire fist or something like that. Because it looks like these guys are a little more susceptible to the physical attacks. Or at least they have better success. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was just sad. That's what that was. Frenzy is probably going to be overkill. There we go. Some XP. Oh. Reptite Tress. Ooh. So, since it's a dress, it's probably these guys. Um, is the Reptite Dress better than the Prismatic Dress? No. But Ayla's got a prismatic dress. Marley does, but Luca does not. And that's uh, same magic defense, better actual defense. So, all right, not a total waste. That that got Marley or Luca some better armor. Anything else in there? Hmm. Okay. Now we got to the boss. Good. Because <laughs> I got two minutes before I should have split this into another episode. Oh, well. So it's you who meddled in our plans. These guys. Let me guess. One of you tells the truth and one of you tells a lie. We will not suffer meddlers to live. Now, in case you're wondering... The, uh, the red guy is weak to water and absorbs fire. The blue guy is weak to fire and absorbs water, which is why I ain't messing with a water or fire person in my party because all their best stuff uh, hits everybody. So we'll just dark matter and luminaire and electrocute. Bam. They've got about 8k worth of uh, hit points, so that is something to keep in mind, too. Oh, seriously, you're going to rob me of all my magic points? Alright. Let's do the electric slide. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh. Are, are, you, are you kidding me? This is what they do? 
They absorb your magic point every time you successfully hit them with magic? Yeah, I might end up having to actually use uh, one of those elixirs I picked up along the way. Because they're going to knock, what, about 16, 20, 20 magic points out of everybody each go round. Yeah, I might have enough magic to, to ride this one out. Bizarre. Just shy of 2k, although each one seems to be a little different, differently affected by each attack. Come on, guys. Let's make this quick. I got a schedule to keep. Seriously, that's not fair. You don't get another attack. Well, good to know that you got, uh... That shadow magic. There we go. Ooh, that's a lot of XP. That was a difficult battle, but we succeeded. We have no more business here. Let's be on our way. Oh, good. You're not going to make me walk all the way back. You've done it. Magnificent. Perhaps now joy and laughter can take the place of fear and dread in our lives. Eh, I'm not buying that. No words are enough to express our appreciation, which is why you're going to use money. No, I don't. I don't see that in the text anywhere, but okay. But know that our <laughs> that word of your great deeds will be legend in our village for generations to come. This is the Valor Crest, an ancient treasure of our village. Please accept it as a token of our gratitude. You are our saviors. I was hoping for Valor money, Valorous pay, a Valorous bonus. Okay. <laughs> so that's how it's gonna be alright fine save you guys I do your little fetch quests I'm tired alright I'm tired of running fetch quests <laughs> actually I'm pretty sure that crest is uh, some item that is probably gonna be very tempting to uh, use but Dragon's Tear, that boosts the critical hit rate. Strength and Stamina. This oh, because the Valorous Crest is actually Power Crest. Yeah, okay. I, I, I guess that that's Power Money then, when I go sell it on the next playthrough. Alright, save. Save. Good. Sweet. Alright, so let's hit the credits. Sorry about the uh, extra length, although I don't know if you like that. Then it's a bonus. Hooray. Sorry. Hooray. Not sure which. But either way, thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. I got one more side quest to go. Hopefully I can finish it in one 20 minute session, but if not, that's going to be the next two episodes going up on YouTube. And it's going to be a little bit longer stream than normal. And uh, speaking of streams, if you're not, if you want to watch live, there's a Twitch link in the description below. And I do this Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Live stream the recording of the next week's YouTube episode. So if you want to know the future, watch live. If you haven't already, follow in Twitch to get notified when I go live. And definitely, if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Helps the channel out and you get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. Don't forget to tell your friends. And uh, live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.